Breaking news we're following new at 430 from Wall Street. Stocks really tanked this afternoon. Channel 3 Stephanie Simone has more right now from the breaking news desk. Stephanie. Mark, that's right. The Dow lost more than 1,000 points, breaking a four-day winning streak. Let's take a look at those final numbers. The Dow closed down more than 1,100 points as major retailers reported their profits took a huge hit. Blaming inflation. Joining us now to break down how all of this affects our families is Joel Johnson from Johnson and Bernani. Joel, thanks so much for being here tonight. First of all, when you saw what happened today, where stocks close, what is going through your head right now? What are you telling clients? Well, it, this is just a prolonged negative situation, isn't it? Now, if you think about what the consumer is going through out there, we've just seen Target and Walmart numbers come in, as you mentioned, just really, really poor. Um, there's just bad news after bad news. What we're telling clients is if you have a long-term time horizon, and I hate to say this, it sounds so cliche, but just stay the course if you have a long-term time horizon. If you've got a short-term time horizon, I hope you have some money safe. You should always have some money set aside that can't go down um, because this just happens every five to seven years. It just feels horrible when we're in the middle of it, but there's just a lot of bad news out there in the economy right now, Steph. Yeah, and even if you don't have money in the market, how does this impact everybody? Well, we've got inflation, which is going to slow down the economy. That's going to hurt everybody. And if you've been to the grocery store lately, as most of us have, you know, we've seen that. We've seen empty shelves and we've seen prices way, way up. Gasoline is way, way up. It's almost like a tax. The problem is with this type of a tax, you know, price increases are like a tax, that it hits the lower income and the middle income people the hardest. Um, very wealthy people, people that make a high income, you know, they can absorb higher gas prices. They can absorb higher food prices. But somebody that's making a, a, a low to moderate income, you know, maybe that household that's got thirty to fifty thousand dollars a year of income, it's hurting them really, really bad. And what happens is this negative sentiment cascades throughout the economy. We are still a consumer, it's consumer driven economy. And when consumers stop consuming and they stop buying things, it grinds to a halt. And that's what we're seeing. And so now what you're seeing is what really moves market, Stephanie, is this huge institutional selling, these big banks hedge funds, pension funds, mutual funds are just selling, trying to get out of the way of this falling knife, so to speak. Yeah, and you talked about gas and groceries. People need a break at this point. Is there any relief? Well, if we can get the supply chain moving again, and if we can get, um, you know, the labor situation fixed, then, you know, there will be some relief, but we might have a little way to go here. I mean, there's this system systemic issue in the economy right now where, you know, the shutdowns from COVID just slowed everything to a halt as far as supply chain issues and so on. They really haven't gotten going yet. And so I don't see any end in sight in the short term. We could have a pretty rough summer, but hopefully things will at least stabilize that. I think it be, can be really painful for folks looking at their 401ks right now. Any words of wisdom besides ride out the market? Well, yeah, I mean, if, if, just a little bit of comfort. You know, again, this happens about every five to seven years. If you have at least five years to go towards retirement, what you should be doing is seeing this as an opportunity to put more money into your 401k. Do exactly the opposite of what you feel like doing. So, again, five years or more uh, towards retirement, stuff as much money as you can into stocks and bonds in that 401k. Make sure you have an emergency fund. If you're in your 40s, if you're in your 30s or 40s, this is a huge opportunity. Save absolutely as much as you can in that 401k. And quite frankly, if you're in your 30s and 40s, you should be pretty aggressive with the investments. Good advice. Thank you, Jill Johnson from Johnson.